All right, great. Let's talk abortion. There you go. <laughs> Everybody has an opinion. As do I. And I apologize that you're going to have to listen to mine because I'm going to tell you right now, I have a really weird... I have a really weird take on abortion. I'm going to tell you that right from the get-go, okay? I'm 100% pro-choice. Always have been. It's a, ladies, I said it was weird. For the love of God, stop getting in the trunk of the car. Just wait to the end. You're supposed to vent me first. For the... <laughs> Woo! I said I had a weird take. Pro-choice always made sense to me because I don't like people telling me what to do. And I was just like, it's your body. Who the f*** am I to tell you what to do with your body? So that always made sense, all right? However, I still think you're killing a baby. See? That's where it gets weird. Like, I sit on the fence and the whole thing makes sense to me. Whatever anybody's saying, like, don't tell me what to do. It's my body, my choice. That's right, man, she's right. Leave her the hell alone. Oh, you're killing a baby. Well, I mean, there is that, you know? I mean, you know, if we're gonna be honest, that is the whole purpose of the procedure. You know, you're not going in there because you got an earache. You're going in there because you're like, I got a baby in me, get the fuck out of here. Right? You walk in with a baby, you come out without one. What happened to the baby, right? <laughs> Something <laughs> happened. So, pro-choice people are like, well, it's not a life yet. It's not a baby yet. If you do, I don't know what they say, before you do it the first Thursday or the last Tuesday and you spin around one time, they dance between the rain trucks. <laughs> it's not a baby yet. That's what they say, which may or may not be true. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but I'll tell you, my gut tells me that doesn't make sense. It's not a baby yet. That would be like if I was making a cake and I poured some batter in a pan and I put it in the oven and then five minutes later you came by and you grabbed the pan, you threw it across the floor and I went, what the f***, you just ruined my birthday cake. And then you were like, well that wasn't a cake yet. It's like, well it would have been. If you didn't do what you just did, there would have been a cake in 50 minutes. Something happened to that cake, you cake murder and son of a bitch. Right? Now, before all you pro-life people get excited, I think it's great you're killing your babies. It's fantastic. Help Mother Nature out. There's too many of us. It's been 130 degrees out. Animals are going extinct. There's plastic in the f***ing ocean. We don't need any more people, and especially, you know, if you're honest with yourself, have you done anything great with your life? <laughs> Is the person you're banging doing anything great? The answer to both of those questions is no. What are the odds you're gonna make a great person? I'm not saying you're gonna make a bad person, you're just gonna make another person that doesn't go when the light turns green because they're staring at their phone. <laughs> 